long presentation by us. Go ahead. Um, the cause of war was militarism. Um, it was spiked by it was sparked by the Industrial Revolution, and Europe thought that if you wanted to be like the best country, that you had to like be like technology, like you had to have good technology. So, and then that that like made other countries think that like, hey, I have to be the best. So then they all just started they started like building up their military, and they wouldn't have the best military. So. Causes of war alliances. Alliances were formed with countries after rivalries were formed with other countries. The two major alliances were the Triple Entente and the Triple Alliance. The Triple Entente included England, France, and Russia, and the Triple Alliance included Germany, Italy, and Austria Hungary. Um, imperialism. Germany and France competed fiercely for colonies in Africa. <coughs> like this, com this like competition pushed Europe to war because they just kept getting mad because of how they were fighting. So they just said, "Let's go to war." So yeah. Okay. Causes of war: nationalism, rivalries due to militarism, and imperialism increased nationalism among European powers. Uh, European rivals tried to maintain a balance of powers while also trying to overpower allies, others, other allies. Um, assassination. All right. So, what kind of really sparked the war, the war was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand by Serbian terrorists, and um, yeah, they killed her, his wife too. Um, the difference between this war and the other wars was the use of trenches um, and the new web weaponry. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Weaponry. Instead of the traditional style of fighting where the soldiers would stand in place and fire each other, they would dig trenches and fight out those trenches. And they also lived there, too, with electricity. They had submachine guns, which was a lot different from using just like a musket, like you could like spew out like hundreds of rounds per minute. Um, grenades, this was a better way to like um, a set of cannons where you have like one big shell, like trying to take out everything, you just throw a grenade them. It's like the equivalent to a cannon. Um, tanks, they they were just kind of there for like shields, I guess. Um, Planes, they had like surveillance so they could see like there were trenches and stuff. And then U boats were boats that were on the water with guns on top of them. And then they were like submarines. U boats were guns with, with guns. They were like submarines. So then submarines came, which were underwater. U boats were underwater, they just were all the way underwater. Jill, they were boats with guns on them. Go ahead. Um, the use of posters in World War One was mainly to persuade men to join the military. It also led to the support of troops. By buying the war bonds, it would help pay for things that the army may need, like food, supply, medical, etc. Um, why the United States joined the war? Well, one reason was that, like, Germany, they, they said they wouldn't sink anything, but then they go and sink, like, they go and sink Lusitania, and they also sank, sank, like, a boat with, like, it had ammo on it, but it had, like, innocent people on it, so it was kind of big. And, um, they, we, we, they, we intercepted a note, it was called the Zimmerman Note, and so, that was basically saying that Germany wanted to like try to get land on like where we were, so they were, trying to, to they were, they were trying to get Mexico against us, but it never happened. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the lesson that can be learned from World War One is that if you're going to start a war, then you should be able to either win it or finish it. Germany started the war, and by the end of the war, they were almost completely done. 
Germany would pay would have to pay for all the war damages, have no independence, and give up their entire army. Um, oh, really, really knowing. Okay. Aftermath, um, over, over 8.5 million soldiers died. At the time, this was one of the deadliest and gruesome wars. And uh, 21 million people were wounded between the countries all together. Uh, later on, there was, for Germany, there was, th there was $338 billion in war debt. And the loss of a whole generation occurred. Thank you.